Today I'm going to show you how to write tests for your context providers in React. My name is Maxim and I make JavaScript and React tutorials to make it easier for you to learn programming. If it sounds relevant, then press the subscribe button and let's go. In this example, we're going to build a simple authorization context that will hold authorization status, is logged in, boolean flag, and functions login and logout that will switch this flag on and off. Later, you can use it to create private routes for your application. Here is a little demo showing how this context can be used. We have two buttons, login, logout, and they trigger context functions, login and logout that change is logged in status that we display here. Let's see how to implement this context provider. I've created new file, auth context. First, I need to import react. Import react from react. Next, I need to create the context itself. Const auth context equals react create context. Here I assume that you know what is context, what context is in React. And next we are gonna create a custom provider that will store our authentication st status. So I create new component const of provider equals new function and inside of it we're gonna return a simple layout that will use auth context provider. Here we have closing tag. Inside of it, we will render children. We will get them from props. Now we need to provide value for our provider. Value will be an object with items login, logout and is logged in. But first we need to implement those functions and state. First I will create is logged in state. I create a constant is logged in set is logged in. It will be react use state. And by default, it will be false. Now we create our login and logout functions. Const login equals new function. And it will just set is logged in to true. Now we can copy login and create logout function. Logout will set our lo is logged in flag to false. Now we can format our document. And we need to export both constants. Export, export. And this is basically it. It's enough to store our authorization status and change it with those login and logout functions. Now, as we pass them through value in our auth context provider, they will be available throughout the whole application that will be wrapped in our context provider. Let's learn how to write tests for this component. First, create new file auth context test.js and we need to import React. Next, we'll need to import both auth context and auth provider that we created on previous steps. So we import auth context auth provider from auth context. And we'll need to import mount from enzyme mount from enzyme thing is that we can directly test our context we'll have to create a test component inside of it but let's begin by writing a describe block uh, i'm going to write only one test for one function i will test that if we press login button or we rather call the login function the is logged in flag will switch to true. So I call it login, create a function, and there I create it block, not italic, but it, and I remove this thing. It switches sets is logged in status to true. 
Now let's start writing our test. First, we need our testing component that we will put inside of our context so we can somehow output the values, so we can somehow take the values out of the uh, context. Let's define test component equals function. Uh, it's gonna use uh, React use context API const login function because this is login. This is the function that I'm gonna test and is logged in flag uh, that I'm gonna use to, to test if the context is working properly. React use context and I pass auth context there. Now we need to output some layout. Say return it will be a simple fragment and inside of it I will create a div that will contain our is logged in status to stream. I will create another element, it will be a button that will say login and on click it will call login. That should be enough. Now we create a wrapper by calling enzyme function mount. Mount. And we mount our auth provider first because we need to provide the function and the is logged in status to our test component. And it is self closing element. Now we can start our assumptions. In our test, we are gonna address our elements. First of all, I will need to find this div to read its text to check if it's true or false, and I will also have to find the button. So, in order to locate my div with uh, is logged in status easier, I provide it with data test ID equals value. Now it will be quite easy to find it using wrappers find method. So first I expect not expect expert. Why did it do this? Expect wrapper find and then I pass data test ID equals value text to equal false I can already create the last check that will test that it's now true and between them we will press our button wrapper find we have only one button there so we can just find button simulate click let's run the tests yarn test and our script and our test passes now let's make sure that it will fail if we don't click the button and therefore we don't trigger the login function And as you can see, our test is failing now. Good. This is it. Now, if you like this video and find this video useful, then press the like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, then definitely subscribe to the channel. And I already have a bunch of other tutorials, so check them out on the left side. See you.